guys, I've received a few requests to show my roast chicken recipe, so I thought I would share it with you here today. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I prep my ingredients in advance, um, especially so that when I'm home uh, from work, I can just quickly get everything together. So I'll show you what goes in the bird. So you have thyme, lots of thyme, <laughs> rosemary, and basil. So I like to set that aside. You also need a lemon that you chop in half, but for now we'll just need the smaller half. So I'm gonna take the chicken out of the packaging. Whoa, I hate touching raw meat. I'm gonna open it up. This one doesn't have any giblets inside, but if it does, uh, remove them. And then I'm gonna take my thyme, rosemary, and basil and just fold them up as small as they'll get and stick them in as far as they'll go into the chicken. And it doesn't really matter what weight of chicken you get. I find the way that I cook it, it always cooks fine all the way through. And then the lemon, right at the end. Initially, I'd gotten this recipe from a recipe book and it called for garlic and onion and I found it didn't really add a ton of flavor, and this was a lot less treble. So I cut them out and didn't miss them. So it's tied right back up again. And I'm not like super perfectionist about this. It just needs to feel secure enough so that I know it's all in one spot. Then, sorry, hand washing break. I wash my hands like three times when I'm doing this because I'm a bit of a germaphobe. But I'm going to take a bunch of asparagus and just surround the bird with it. And these will get nice and crispy. I've also made this with leeks and found that to be really excellent as well, but these are easier to chop. And I love asparagus. Normally I wouldn't add potatoes, but I had some leftover from something I cooked at Christmas. And I figure so few of them won't really hurt me. And then the very last thing you're going to do is take this last half of a lemon and squeeze it all over everything. You can also season it to taste. So I like to add a little bit of pepper and salt. And then you are done. You just pop this puppy in the oven for an hour and 20 at 425 and it comes out delicious and crispy and tasty. And this is the finished chicken. I'm very excited to get into this. I hope you guys like this recipe. Leave me a comment below um, with what you think of it and let me know if you make it yourself. Yum.